So now we're going to take a look at what happens if you miss a call. Let's say you're out on the property running a unit, or maybe you come in on Monday morning and you have a number of calls that were received over the weekend when you were closed. Your call center may have taken the calls, or maybe they just went to a voicemail. Either way, Call Potential captures these calls so you don't miss any important information. You'll have all the call details and know exactly what was said on each call. This can be really helpful as you reach out to a new lead or follow up with an existing customer. To view these missed calls, you'll go over to the tab on the right called Unprocessed. These are basically any calls that haven't been dispositioned in the system yet. You'll see here that there are three calls that I was unable to answer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this tab to open up the full list of unprocessed calls. To listen to the recorded call, you go to the arrow underneath the incoming phone number. Next, you can click on the phone number listed and a lead card pops up, just like it does with a new incoming call. So basically, the system allows you to process this call the same as if you were on the live call right now. So let's say I listened to the call and this was a telemarketer. This isn't a contact that I'll want to keep in the system. So I'm going to go over here and click Other and the record is deleted from the system and no longer listed in my unprocessed calls. So now let's take a look at another call. In the previous section, we already went through how to handle a new lead when it comes in. So let's talk about what happens when we get a message from an existing customer. So let's say I clicked on the arrow here and listened to this call, and it was a message from Marcus, and he said that he'd be in on Monday to pay. I click the incoming number to open up the lead card. The customer's name pulls in here. I see that he's a current customer, and it also shows what his unit number is. If there were any other notes on the account, those would appear here as well. So I'm going to go over here and click Existing Customer to process this call. When I clicked on Existing Customer, the system queried the management software to get the latest information about this customer. This includes any updated notes and detailed unit information. I see here that this customer has a 10 by 10 unit. I can also see payment information, such as the rent amount, the next due date, last payment date, when the customer is paid to, and if there's any amount still due. So to process this call, first I'm going to go up to the top and let the system know who I am. Next, I'll go down here to enter a new note. Based on what the customer said, I might type, said will be in on Monday to pay. After I enter the notes, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And not only does it save my notes, but even better, it attaches the recorded message to this customer's file. This is a great tool to have so you can go back and retrieve the actual recording if needed. For instance, if Marcus comes in to pay and says, hey, I was told there wouldn't be any late fees, you can play back the call and show the customer, no, I'm sorry, but that was never promised. These recordings can help managers eliminate any he said, she said issues that you have to deal with so often. So that's how we retrieve and process missed calls. In the next section, we'll learn how to handle follow-up tasks.